I'm Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This InDesign video tutorial looks at the subject of preserving or removing formats and styles and colors when we place a Word document. Let's have a look how this would work in practice. We would create a new document. Should we be going to print, we'll put a 3mm bleed on that. We'll make sure that this just needs to be a one-pager with one column and we click OK. We will now click on the place command and we will now go and look at the document in question. It is a Microsoft Word document and very importantly we need to show the import options. Before the document is going to be placed you will have these options that come up. The Microsoft Word import options. We can decide whether we would like to remove the styles and formatting or whether we'd like to preserve the styles and the formatting from text and tables. Let's have a look what happens if we leave it on preserve styles and formatting from text and tables. Now the document is able to be placed by clicking and all the colors have come in from the original Word document. However, the problem that we're now facing is if we look in the swatches panel, we can see that all the colors from Word, and they are in RGB, confirmed by this icon, have been placed as well. This would not be an ideal situation if we were going to use this document for litho printing, as we do not want any RGB colors in the document for that use. So what we will do is let's try that again. Let's create a new document again and let's place the document again, still showing import options, but this time we will choose to take this option, remove styles and formatting from text and tables. When we click OK, this document is suspended on the edge of the cursor and we click to place and you will notice that no formatting and no RGB colors have been brought into this document. We can confirm this by inspecting the swatches panel and no external colors have been imported or placed into this document. It is now entirely up to you to format using the beautiful formatting controls of Adobe InDesign and to use CMYK colors of your choice. I hope that has helped you in your work in InDesign. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you. Be sure to check out MikeLansman.com for three new ebooks that I have written relating to the latest features of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign Creative Cloud 2014. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.